are you? Very well, very well. Good, Good. morning. Welcome to Kakaki Social. <laughs> I am Ohimaya Maize. This is the segment of the show. We spotlight the issues that shape conversations in the Nigerian social media. So let's take a look at what's trending this morning. The much talked about policy document of a PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, hit the social media yesterday officially when the presidential candidate of the PDP addressed the nation in a telecast that was uh, broadcast on Twitter and Facebook. And that also has got Nigerians talking. We go to the social media this morning to take a look at how that generated a lot of talk in the Nigerian social media. The article plan was a hashtag for the unveiling of that document. And uh, we've seen a lot of uh, tweets, a lot of comments on Facebook about uh, these uh, documents, what Nigerians are saying about these. Let's take a look at how that is panning out. Uh, the spokesperson for the article campaign in his official handle shared a video with us from that uh, telecast yesterday. He said, this is Heichi article plan to get Nigeria working again. Download full document on article.org. Hashtag the article plan. Let's take a look at this short video that captures a moment uh, of that broadcast which was uh, widely viewed yesterday in the social media and on live television. Let's take a look. This is my plan to get Nigeria working again. A plan that will give Nigerian workers a living wage. A plan that will give Nigeria's youth a world-class education, a plan that will empower Nigerian women to reduce maternal mortality and increase their financial stability, a plan that will cater for the elderly so our people are not afraid of growing old, a plan that will invest in our failing infrastructure. But above all, this is a plan that will help create jobs because in my many travels across our great nation, the one thing I constantly hear is that our people need jobs. Without jobs, our people cannot afford to feed their families and our children live in poverty. Without jobs, there is crime, drug use and insecurity. Without jobs, what is the hope for a better life and a better future? Uh, I think we're looking all suited up in that uh, broadcast yesterday. Well, let's go to the comments now. Indicato tweeting at Yaka Fanchan said, key takeaway from Atiku's presentation of the Atiku plan via his Facebook page. Atiku's campaign will not be centered on empty promises. His policy presentation contains the how, a very important part of leadership. When you hear promises, you must ask for the how. From Yaka Fanchan, we saw that tweet yesterday and from Akaibu Bede Statesman News Update. Articulate FC striker Atiku scores a hat trick on his debut. Restructuring, go. Economic reforms, go. Massive job creation, go. Wonderful start to the season. Hashtag the Atiku plan. From Archive, we saw that tweet from Miko Abdullah. I spent an hour and a half reading the Atiku plan and Next Level Nigeria. The Atiku plan emphasizes on national unity and poverty alleviation. On the other hand, the next level is full of tricks and lies. Job creation, it's under their watch, 11 million Nigerians lost their jobs. From Miko Abdallah, we saw that tweet yesterday, making a comparison between uh, the President uh, Buhari's uh, policy and Atiku's policy. Mr. Abu Siddiq, uh, firing shots at the Atiku policy document, said, Atiku policy document is still talking about MDGs when the whole world is done with it and has moved to SDGs. So much for a policy document. Hmm. Maybe this is something the Atiku team needs to look at. And uh, yesterday also, uh, members of the APC on social media tried to caricature uh, the Atiku plan. We saw this tweet from Mr. Jax, Jubri A. Gawa tweet and said, Flash, details of the Atiku plan has been revealed to sell Nigeria, to steal some more, to increase corruption, to loot funds. Of course, they attached several images uh, which seem to be caricaturing the PDP presidential candidate and his uh, plan for Nigeria. In another tweet from Benga Gold, uh, Benga Olorong Pami tweeting at Benga Gold, who Benga is an aide to the governor of Kogi State, he also tweeted, I told you we are going to spoil this nonsense trend. Hashtag the article plan. Of course, they attached uh, some of the images you can see, uh, just trying to lampoon the plan that was unveiled yesterday by President, uh, by the presidential candidate of uh, the PDP, Atiku Abubaka. Tola Joseph Fadugwagwe posting on Facebook said, watch and listen to Atiku's plan to get Nigeria working again and tell me how many times you've heard this same anthem. 
There's nothing innovative in this speech if you ask me. Again, he didn't say a word on how he would checkmate the epileptic power supply in this nation, yet he wants to attract foreign investors. Joke. Lastly, he also didn't talk about the blockchain technology as seen in his plan. I insist that wasn't his opinion. Don't be tricked. And then we saw this tweet from uh, Koforola23 on Twitter. First they gave us Jonathan without shoes. Now they are trying to give us another firewood seller, Atiku. We are done with all this less privilege that PDP is throwing at us. Hashtag next level is the code. Talking about next level, the next level brand uh, of the President Buhari's re-election campaign has run into identity theft troubled waters. Yesterday, it came into the social media line like that. The next level logo for President Buhari's new plan that was unveiled on Sunday was actually stolen from uh, an institution uh, that is not in Nigeria. The, the Winthrop University uh, Institution, the next, uh, actually the Tex Institute from the Winthrop University, Reno Mokri fired off a tweet yesterday on that issue. He said, not only do they plagiarize speeches, I belong to everybody, I belong to nobody. Buari and official APC NG are so intellectually lazy and empty that they plagiarize next level from the Rex Institute. Can such people take you to any level? Follow Atiku, the man with the plan. Uh, this issue getting some talk yesterday in the social media. Of course, you can see this is the original logo. This is the one that uh, the president unveiled on Sunday. It's next level plan for Nigeria. It was actually taken from the Rex Institute, another entirely different organization, not even in Nigeria, in far away uh, in uh, the United States. And this has generated some talk. Let's take a look at more tweets from Nigerians on this issue that uh, is currently trending right now. Let's go on and see from Anthony Ahileba. We saw this tweet. What kind of next level is Wari promising us? Your logo is plagiarized. Your official campaign logo. CM, I've learned to act on what people show me about themselves. Plagiarizing kind of people. This honest lot. Next level 419. One chance kind of people. From Anthony Ahileba, we saw that tweet from Mata Mikos. Tolu Ogun, let's say this plagiarized next level logo is all you guys can come up with. This is so shameful and says a lot about this administration. And from real underscore no limit, this government went from stealing farming pictures on Google to copying and pasting them, to copying and pasting their next level, next level logo. They have no original idea, none whatsoever. We are doomed. Nigerians taking shots at President Buhari's new uh, camp, uh, uh, master plan for his re-election, which as we have just seen, the logo was actually uh, taken from the logo of an institute far away out of Nigeria. And from Lydia, Lydia on Facebook, we saw this post. This is how the following will enter next level. 50 kg of rice, 25,000 naira. One liter of fuel, 200 naira. One liter of kerosene, 500. One liter of diesel, 500. Flight ticket, 500% increase. One dollar, now 400 naira. One pounds to 600 naira. 2004 used car, 5 million naira. Bus ticket, 500% increase. Sickness, 100% increase. Drugs, 500% increase. Savings from salary, 0%. Lydia Lydia posting that on Facebook from uh, Junior Maurice 91. Please, just for proper clarification, has APC changed their slogan from change to next level? And the next level sounds like the name of a Babin Saloon. Interesting comments from Nigerians. And uh, yesterday also, the Atiku campaign uh, was kicking over the news that service chiefs, Nigerian service chiefs, attended President Buhari's re-election launch on Sunday. Atiku campaign kicks as service chiefs attend Buhari's campaign launch. Let's take a look at how Nigerians were talking about this issue. As you can see, that's uh, one of the service chiefs there uh, shaking hands with uh, the now APC chieftain, Godwill Akbabio, former governor of Akwaibom State. Excerpts from that report states, pictures of service chiefs attending President Muhammad Wari's campaign rally tagged next level have become a source of worry for the Atiku Abubakar campaign organization. A spokesman for the organization has said, some service chiefs, including the chief of defense staff, General Gabriel Olonishakin, the chief of air staff, Air Marshal Abubakar Sadiq, and chief of the naval staff, Vice Admiral Ibok Ete Ibas, seen attending the event were obtained by the punch on Monday. However, it could not be immediately ascertained if the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Buratai, also attended the event which took place in Abuja on Sunday. In one of the photos, the Chief of Naval Staff is seen shaking hands with all Progressive Congress Chieftain and former Governor of Akwaibom State, Senator Godswill Akbabio. 
uh, Nigerian service chief spotted on at uh, President Buhari's re-election launch on Sunday, the, the, APC, the PDP is kicking. Article's presidential campaign is saying, no, that should not have happened. Let's take a look at how Nigerians are reacting to this issue. From I am Lemona tweeting says, CDS, General Gabriel Olunishakin, CAS, El Masha Abubakar Sadiq, CNS, Vice Admiral Ibok Etel Ibas. These service chiefs were all reported to have attended the launch of Buhari's launch. Our military is at its most political since 1999. Let's take a look at more tweets from Nigerians. Moi underscore Morris tweet and said, uh, We really don't know what we are doing in this country. How can our security and service chiefs, Army, Navy, Air Force, be at Buhari's campaign launch? Are we okay like this? Don't they know they are supposed to be a political and neutral? Who advises these people? Nigerians really concerned about the, the appearance of service chiefs at President Buhari's uh, campaign launch on Sunday from 2C22 tweet and said, uh, Service chiefs attended Buhari's APC campaign event. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we, in the mighty name of Jesus, God will end Buhari's reign in 2019. The plague is destroying all the institutions in Nigeria. From uh, Garbashe, who replying, uh, making an official reaction on the issue, tweeted yesterday, he said, uh, Punch should have asked what brought the service chiefs to the next level 2019 event at the State House, only to leave before it got underway. He continued in another tweet, uh, he said, they were mistaken in their assumption that this was a non-political event to showcase the achievements of the administration, the success of which they are a part. He continued also, he said, okay, that's uh, the much we took on the Garbashe who responds. Uh, Garbashe who officially responding on behalf of the Nigerian presidency, stating that the service chiefs came. They didn't know it was a campaign launch. They thought it was a platform just to showcase the president's achievements in the past few years. From our bank, Mercy, we saw this tweet, tweet and she said, Nigerians are angry that service chiefs attended Buhari's APC event. The entire government apparatus is now officially a Buhari campaign wing. Whoever becomes president after Buhari will either seriously fix the civil service or just go with the flow. They've messed the system up. From Abang Messi, we saw that tweet uh, yesterday. Uh, still coming back to what Garbashehu said. He said, uh, hardly were they seated than did the Minister of Defense, Brigadier General Mansur Dan Ali, retired, asked them to leave as this was a political gathering. Garbashe was making uh, clarifications about the emergence of the, the appearance, rather, of service chiefs at President Barry's launch on Sunday. He also tweeted, he said, they quickly left even before the arrival of the president and for the event to get underway. The fuss over this is therefore absolutely unnecessary. Uh, the official response of the Nigerian presidency on the appearance of the service chiefs at President Barry's launch uh, in, on, on Sunday. Drama in Akwaibom State House of Assembly. We saw some drama yesterday as talks were reported to have invaded the Akwaibom State House of Assembly. This is featured into the social media yesterday. Let's take a look at excerpts of uh, some of the things that uh, people were talking about. PDP has actually condemned that issue. They tweeted breaking news the Akwaibom State House of Assembly, aka premises, is under heavy attack by members of APC talks. The talks invaded the complex, chanting the slogan APC change as they set fire and blocked the entrance to the assembly complex, AKHA under attack. Eyewitnesses accounts also shared some footages from that uh, development. Shalom Tio tweeting said, Aquarium State House of Assembly is under siege as talks loyal to former Governor Godswill Akbabu, who threatened Warsaw, are currently disrupting legislative activities. Let's take a look at that short video. Speaker Luke Onofiok expressing his disappointment with the Nigerian police for shielding the talks loyal to Senator Akbabi in another video uh, also posted by Shalom Tio. Let's take a look at this video as well. Uh, 
uh, quite an ugly development from Akwa Ibom State yesterday. May Ubeku uh, posted on Facebook said, Warsaw defeated. After following the live drama that took place in the Akwa Ibom State House of Assembly today, I must confess the Akwa Ibom people are blessed to have Honorable Luke on North York as his son. Dude is intelligent and very tactical. The man supposed to succeed Governor Udom, honestly. That's from Mayu Beku. And from that issue, we move on to the issue of uh, the dollar bribery scandal involving the governor of Cardin State, Abdullahi Umaganduje. It was reported yesterday that a Kano High Court has uh, granted an interim injunction restraining Daily Nigerian from further publishing videos that show the governor purportedly receiving the bribe, the, the bribe, the, the, the dollar notes uh, uh, in the bribery scandal that has since uh, gone viral in the Nigerian so social media. Let's take a look at excerpts from that report. Uh, just in court bars daily Nigerian from publishing Governor Umar Ganduje's bribery videos. Let's take a look at uh, excerpts from that report, which uh, also got some reactions yesterday from Nigerians. But let's take a look at the reactions very quickly. Beast underscore Ngumex uh, tweeting said, Ganduje dollars is working miracles. The anointing is catching up with judiciary. Presidency is already on it. And uh, we saw a tweet from uh, ANYB. We all know that if it was an ordinary Nigerian that was caught in these videos, the guy wouldn't even be seen the next day. He would have been languishing in a police cell. But since some Nigerians are more equal than other Nigerians, we get this from A Nwambi. We saw that tweet yesterday. And also from uh, Demdam, we saw this tweet. You just wonder on whose side the judiciary is, the common man or the corrupt politician. Nigerians reacting to the report yesterday of the Kano High, uh, Kano High Court granting an interim injunction uh, restraining Daily Nigerian from further publishing videos of Ganduje's dollar bribe videos. Uh, Oge Chime, one posting on Twitter, said, Freedom of press is dead. Can Nigerian Union of Journalists get a good lawyer to counter this judgment with freedom of press section of Nigerian constitution? Well, comments from Nigerians and also... We've seen this video that is trending in the Nigerian social media. Alain Kasamwe posted this video on Twitter. said, the, I'll be a fool to say official APCNG is the best thing that has happened. Kayamo. Thank you, Kayamo, for this. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, very short video that is currently trending in the Nigerian social media. I really think that this administration would fulfill all of these promises. No, I don't think so. Am I here to think that the APC is the best thing to happen to Nigeria? I'll be a fool to say so. Am I here to say that there are no thieves within the APC? I'll be a fool to say so. Will I be here to defend the APC as the purest political party, as the, as, as the cure all and be all and the, you know, and the, and the, and the cure, all cure alive? Okay, it's a very short video. <laughs> on that note, uh, we wrap up Kakaki Social this morning. Follow the conversation on all our social media platforms at Kakaki Social on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Kakaki Social. I am Ohimai Amaize, handing you over back now to Salamatu and Shola. And of course, uh, Festus Kayamo <laughs> is live in the building. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yes, indeed. You're right, Ohimai. <laughs> He's right there, and our viewers will meet him shortly. Just to remind our viewers that, of course, we'll be looking 